YouTube. It is your boy SHSL Blaze coming at you guys with yet another video. And thank you guys for all the support on the last video because after the last video, I saw people commenting saying, hey, can you do this for Danganronpa Brave Coward's Paradise and also Project Eden's Garden? And I was like, heck yeah, I can. Now I still need to watch the trailer for Project Eden's Garden. So maybe I'll do a reaction to that uh, within the week or next week. So hopefully you guys are really excited for that. But for now, I have watched and reacted to Danganronpa Brave Coward's Paradise. Now I love this freaking fan again. So I was like, let me drop some character opinions on these characters because I felt like this series, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this is a great fan gan. It is, <laughs> it is a great fan gan. Low key, I would have to say it's probably in my top three fan gans that I have seen so far. This one is really freaking good. If you haven't checked it out, the full prologue is over at their YouTube channel. It is gonna be in the description. Go check it out, please, because it is wild. Danganronpa Brave Coward's Paradise is literally anything that you could want in a fan game. Like, I really wish this that this was a game. I do. I really do. I really wish that this was a game. It is not, unfortunately. But that is okay, y'all. Because you know what we're going to be doing today? Dropping opinions on the characters. So I'm very excited about this one. This time, I created my own template and used Gabriel's buttons. And I really appreciate Gabriel for all that they did for the last video. That template for Shattered Hope was amazing. So I said, hey, let me go ahead and make one for Danganronpa Brave Coward Paradise. And yeah, we're going to be using that today. So let's shut up and just jump into the video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate that. I love you guys because you guys have been doing that a lot. And it's really been helping out the channel. It is keeping us in the algorithm. I appreciate it. All right, now it's time to get into the video. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. This is the template right here in front of me. We are going to start with the character opinions. Let's go ahead and start with the main character, Hiroto. Hiroto. Now, I'm going to have to say that the main, the design of the main character is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Literally amazing. He is beautiful. Completely beautiful. Okay. The red hair, all of it. Great design for a main character. Probably one of the better main characters out of all the fan games that I've played so far. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and say, I'm hitting him with the love. I wouldn't say he's my favorite character out of all of them. There's a, there's a big spoiler that I could be dropping right now, but I don't wanna drop because just in case somebody comes into this video just wanting to see my opinions, but hasn't seen it yet. The, the talent for Hiroto is very interesting. And I wanna see how it shakes up the game later on. You know what I mean? I wanna see if, the talents actually matter in this fan game because I feel like in the main series, like talents don't really freaking matter at all, right? Like somebody will be like the SHSL mechanic and like they'll have probably one scene in the game where they actually use their talents. Some people's talents aren't used at all. You know what I mean? Other than like the, the ultimate detective or something like that. Like that's always used, of course, because it's it's basically the whole entire game, right? But all this other stuff's barely used. So I'm kind of curious to see how his talent will come into play later on in the series. But, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm going to give Hiroto a love for sure. You are getting my love. Let's move on to Anko. Anko, I love. <laughs> this is a great character. I'm sorry. I saw some people's opinions on this character already, especially when I was streaming. Some people said that they didn't like her. They thought that she was annoying. I kind of like her and she brings that mystery to the game, y'all. She brings that mystery. Y'all remember what I was talking about in the Shattered Hope characters opinions where I said that, you know, like Scarlet brings mystery to it. That's what Anko does. We don't know what her talent is and she doesn't want to tell anybody. So I'm kind of curious to see what that talent is. And, you know, she's going to be like a pretty cool. It seems like female antagonistic character, although she seems to be friends with the main protagonist. I don't know. We're going to have to see later on in the series. I'm excited to see how she plays an importance or what role she plays later on in the fan gan, dude. I am excited to see that. So I'm hitting her with a love too. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm already throwing two loves out there. I know, I know, I know I'm, too, I'm throwing two loves out there like that already. We just started. Hana. Okay, we're moving on to Hana. I think this is the girl that reminded me of Chiaki, right? I think so. Kind of, sort of. She even kind of resembles her a little bit. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I know, I know, I know, I know. No, no, I, I know. As soon as somebody heard me say Chiaki, they were like, oh, Blaze is gonna hit him with the love. We already know. 
hold on y'all hold on let's let's slow it down pump the brakes you know um yes i do love her design i love her talent her talent is the ultimate tailor i thought that was pretty interesting she's really timid i noticed when you're when we were watching the fan game she's very 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 timid and i feel like she's gonna play a, a really important role in the fan game pretty soon i don't know if she's gonna be the first death per se but i feel like she's going to become like a love interest with the main character i could be wrong on that i could completely be wrong with that but i feel like she might die or she might kill somebody pretty soon so you know i know i know i know i i compared her to chiaki and everyone's expecting me to hit her with like a number one favorite or a love ah this is such a hard one all right you know what based off of memory i'm gonna hit her with a like i'm not gonna hit her with a love i'm gonna hit her with a like all right y'all because to be honest with y'all i need a little bit more from her just like i said in shattered hope with a lot of the characters in that one i need some more i need some more i think pretty soon she might become one of my favorite characters but she's not there yet daisuke all right daisuke really didn't stand out to me at all i feel like he's gonna be really important later on especially i feel like he's gonna be like one of the last remaining survivors you know what i mean i feel like he's gonna last to just about the end of this series so he is going to be very important but at the same time he just didn't really capture me so i think i'm gonna hit him with a neutral for sure I love his design and such. I like how he looks and I liked his voice acting a lot. But other than that, he's gonna have to give me some more. Stella, all right. This one surprised me. The ultimate actress. This one for sure surprised me because I, her character just completely flipped on me because I was expecting one thing when she started talking. And then later on, as you get to know her, she ends up showing her like true side and I was like, oh, that is not what I was thinking with her character. She's actually really cool. So I kind of liked the change up there. Um, her talent could provide for some interesting things to happen later on, um, being the ultimate actress and such. I know like literally ultimate actress is like one of those things that you look at and you're like, you're going to be a killer or something like that, you know, or the mastermind behind the game. You know what I mean? Like you look at her character and you're like, yeah, she's probably not going to do anything good to the game, right? She might be the mastermind or she might kill somebody. I mean, remember Emma Ra Magarobi? You guys remember that SDRA 2 Yeah, I'm just saying. So we'll see later on. I'm going to have to say I love her character. I do. I love the design. I love that she's half American. Um, Very, very good character for sure. Indeed. So I'm gonna hit her with a love. Yukio. Okay. You <laughs> Okay, Yukio. This is gonna be like the, the Rissy in the Shattered Hope Characters Opinion video that I did. If I say something wrong here, people are gonna be upset. Cause I feel like Yukio is one of those characters that everyone like kind of gravitates towards because he's super cute. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He's very cute. Okay? He he is. He's cute. The voice acting is cute. The whole French thing. He's the ultimate pastry chef. That is so cute. And I, I kind of want a character like that to survive. You know, after seeing Teru, Ter I'm like, man, we need a cute character to survive. That's not just Himiko. You know what I mean? So, ah, ah, Yuki. I'm gonna hit him with a love. I'm hitting him with a love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He gives me different vibes. You know, like I said in the Shattered Hope with Rissy, usually I don't resonate very well with characters like that, but he he gives off a different vibe for me, for sure. So we'll see later on. You know, I, that might that might change. But right now, I love. That might change later on. And, and you guys got to remember, Shattered Hope's kind of given us a little bit more than Brave so far. So that's kind of why my opinions on that might be a little bit different. I've seen a little bit more of Rissy compared to Yukio. Yukio, it's only been the prologue, right? So Ume. I'm sorry. Number one character. I don't care what anyone says. Ume is getting number one favorite. Hands down. I might pull a Shattered Hope where I put two number one favorites. <laughs> because Ume gets it. Ume gets me. I love this character. I love this character. I don't care what anyone says. I don't have to say anything else about it. You could watch my reaction when I was reacting to Danganronpa Brave, and you saw how excited I got. That character is freaking dope, okay? Yume gets number one favorite, hands down. Hibiki. 
uh this is where it gets tough this is where it's legitimately getting tough because i love hibiki too and i would have put hibiki as number one favorite also i think hibiki's character is freaking tough. <laughs> is, is spectacular is spectacular like definitely one of my top favorites in this series so far probably not a number one favorite but definitely top favorites i would definitely put H hibiki you know next to hiroto and anko for sure i like these characters a lot I've said that this archetype of character I love in a lot of series and I've said that in the Shattered Hope and now I'm saying that again here Hibiki's just one of those characters that I just have to go with I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I just have to go with it I love him Anoka Anoka has potential definitely has potential to be a great character very funny kind of like a kind of like a Iruma um I could definitely see her character becoming a favorite for me later on. Right now, from what I saw, probably not top tier. All right. I would definitely give her a like, but that's probably as high as I can give her right now. I feel like later on in the series, like I just said, we're going to get more from her and I'm going to like her a lot more, a lot more. I definitely can resonate with that type of character. It's just you got to you got to let her cook. You know what I mean? A character like this, you got to let cook. You gotta let them cook and later on she's gonna be hot she's gonna be steaming okay so i'm definitely gonna give her a like for now urara okay hold up hold up y'all because <laughs> this character reminds me of a character in another fan gan uh in nico rampa to be more specific yes 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 i am all for this character ladies and gentlemen I am giving her a love. The voice acting, the design, all of it is amazing. All right. I'm definitely giving it to her. That's all I really can go based off of, right? Because we just saw a prologue. And, you know, the prologue is you just getting to know the characters, right? So we don't know a whole bunch about a lot of these characters. So most of these I'm kind of going based off of design and voice acting and stuff like that. Like if they caught my eye then you're going to get a love. If you didn't really catch my eye, then you're going to get like a neutral or a like, right? Or a, yeah, or a dislike. But for the most part, great character. Kazuya. 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 Do you know this man's name? Kazuya. Is getting a double one favor. <laughs> I'm, okay, okay. I'm so sorry because Frost... And I know I said this about Cross. I don't usually like characters with that archetype. But Kazuya, for some reason, caught my eye very, very fast. I don't know why. There's something about him that just resonates with me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the design. Maybe it's the talent. Maybe it's all of that together, including the voice acting. Something about Kazuya. Like I said, this, this all could change. But for right now him being that antagonistic character it felt good it felt really good i don't know if it was the writing or what it what it was there, there's something about his character it just i like it i like it y'all for sure goro this character is great very oh my god when he brought up the hot springs that was so funny by the way goro seems like one of those big characters that i'm finally going to be able to resonate with um in the main series of course we had sakura and i liked sakura um we had nekamaru but nekamaru I, I really didn't care about to be honest i know some people might be mad with me saying that but i really didn't gonta was just gonta i mean i loved him but he wasn't like a great character and he wasn't you know what i mean he didn't really bring much to the to the game you know what i mean he didn't really bring much to the dialogue either but goro seems like one of those characters those big characters that's going to heavily contribute, especially in class trials later. And I just like the way he's written so far. I'm going with him. I'm going to hit him with a love. I'm going to hit him with a love. Oh my God. Okay. Mitsuba, Mitsuba, Mitsuba. Oh, dude. Okay. Y'all know me and my history with Hiyoko. I ended up, I didn't like Hiyoko when I first, you know, you know, played Danganronpa 2, but later on, after you know getting through the free time events and watching a couple videos and such i ended up really liking hiyoko and resonating with her characters like that like the like the small characters i really can't normally and with mitsuba the writing was really good the writing was really freaking good i was just like this character is actually pretty cool when i was looking at the stream chat 
people weren't really rocking with her, but I was. And I don't know why, really. I don't know why. I just feel like the writing for her was really good in that first, you know, in that first half in that prologue. So I'm going to have to say I love this character for now. Ichiro. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't resonate with Ichiro at all. At, at all. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the, the constant talk about sleeping. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Shobai in SDRA 2. But I, I wasn't resonating with it. I wasn't. Dang. I actually feel really bad for saying that. I, 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 I didn't. I'm going to have to drop a dislike, actually. Because I kind of didn't like his character to be quite honest it didn't it didn't catch me it didn't you know i feel bad for saying that and that might break a lot of people's hearts and some people might be like what the heck are you talking about blaze but i didn't feel that connection ray it's it, it's game over yo i am team ray i am team ray i am team ray i am team ray let's go I told you guys a long time ago, if you've been rocking with me for a long time, you know I like Archer characters. In any game that I play, I always want to be the Archer character. I love Archers to death, dude. And if you give me a female Archer, game over. Game over. I go. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I don't resonate with these characters. I'm sorry. I don't. Daigo. The voice acting was really good for Daigo, by the way. But the character. I don't know. I was Maybe maybe it's because I was a. I don't know what I was expecting, really. I, I think I just wasn't. Res, I don't resonate with this archetype of character. That's just what it is. That That's what it is. Because he's like all brawn and, you know, I just want to fight everybody kind of guy. And I, I don't resonate with that very well. Maybe later on, like I said, with all these other characters, it will change. You know what I mean? Maybe we'll get some character development and I'll see another side of him. But from the prologue and just knowing, you know, his archetype, it it's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. That's that's he's probably going to get another dislike from me. Oof. But that's that's really how I feel about Daigo. Yeah. So that's it. That's how I feel about all of these characters. Um most of these I went off of memory. I know there's a lot of hearts. There's a lot of loves. And that's mainly because the the, the writing, the writing, the designs, the, uh, the the voice acting for all of these characters is amazing. Hands down. Uh, the work put into Danganronpa Brave is crazy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. Um, so if you if you're seeing dislikes and such and some neutrals and some likes, don't think I just like hate the characters or I think the characters are stupid or their designs suck or anything like that. It's just me not connecting with that character. As in like, I, 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 maybe I don't like that archetype. You know what I mean? Maybe that kind of character just has never really resonated me with me well with other animes or, you know, any other kind of media um, that I've seen so far. So don't think that I just think, oh, the, all these designs suck. Daigo sucks. Ichiro sucks. Like, no, no, that's not it. Anoka's just okay. Like, no, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's just, I don't really resonate with these characters or I'm I'm looking for more out of them, okay? But for right now, I can look back at this and be like, yep, 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 yep. For sure. For sure on all of these. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Let me know what your opinions on all of these characters are down below in the comment section. I would truly appreciate that. I look at all of the comments. I like to see what you guys have to say about a lot of these fan gans or just my videos in general so stay awesome y'all and loving all of you guys hopefully everybody is staying safe out there and i will see you guys next time let me hit y'all with a quick update real quick uh before we end the video your boy is back i am back um i know i didn't really like leave i didn't keep y'all hanging you know what i mean i got videos in the hard drive ready to put out for y'all so it's not like i just like left i definitely took like a small little break from like streaming and such so if you haven't been able to see like stream vods and stuff like that and i haven't watched any fan games really other than dog and Rapa brave i haven't been catching up on sdra2 and stuff we will be doing all of that this month february is going to be 
big, ladies and gentlemen. This is Black History Month. Support your black creators, okay? Your boy is out here. I am black. All right, so support me, please. <laughs> Anyways, we will be continuing with the morning. We will be doing another series. And I have a big video that I've been working on for like the last like four to five weeks that y'all are gonna, it's crazy, all right? I'm ready to show it to y'all. I can't wait to upload that video. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for all of that. Anyways, with that being said, have an amazing day, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Deuces. Hope will never die.